about three identified dead bodies dumped under Ondo Bridge with missing heads and private parts. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Sincerely, it is a time of the year where a lot of people are pressured. A lot of people are pressured to do things. A lot of people are pressured to do things that they will not be proud of. They do things this time around, especially in this month, doing things that are going to that after 30 days, when they look at themselves and you tell them or they, they flash back, they're not, they're not, they're not comfortable anymore. Like they ask yourself, are you mind the one that did this? Please, for any reason, put it at the front of your mind, not at the back, because maybe at the back of your mind, a lot of things are there already. You might not remember. Let it be at the front of our minds that December is just another month. December is just another month. December is just another month in the year. Get it into your head. That project you could not finish. It is not the end of the world. That's your goal you could not, you could not achieve. It's definitely not the end of the world. There are people who are in the hospital. If you think that you want to start saying your mates are your mates, go to hospital. You see people that are not even up to your age. They are in pain. Go to the cemetery. You see people that will give their all to come back. They will come back and they'll be grateful for even the little things. They'll be grateful for breathing. They'll be grateful that they have their sanity together. They'll be grateful that they have a roof over their head no matter even if the roof is leaking. There's so much you do not know. Some of us, especially in the part of this country, we feel, yes, not we feel, we are, truly, we are truly going through a lot. But some of us handle it very, very differently. You would not know. The people who go out on a daily basis, people who you think you are, they see in flashy cars, you do not know what they go through. In fact, if you go and interview some of them, they will tell you, I wish I had your life. That is how those words, they are envying you. That person you are envying also is envying another person. You that is envying somebody else. Somebody will tell you, I wish I were you. That is, that is what this word is about. For instance, with a person who you are in school and you are complaining, they don't have good clothes to go to classes, they don't have good shoes, that everything is tattered. There is somebody who is wanting one day to go if it is secondary school education. There is somebody who wants to even be in university. They will not care about what they wear. That is it. So in this period that we are in, a lot of people, they put unnecessary pressure on themselves. And sincerely, I cannot seem to understand why. Get it at the front of your mind that December, November, January, they are all months that will come and go. For quite a lot, January has 31 days. December has the same 31 days. Does January has 20 days? Does it have 48 days? Or does December? I don't understand. People desperate can do anything, both females and males alike. I want to be seen with, with you know, clothes that are sparkling. I want to put on shoes that, you know, let me pepper them, please. Are you going to keep living your life to pepper some people? Is that what you want to do? If you cannot attain that goal this time around, please, there is next year. Yes. The goal is not even, at the end of the day, the, you attain that goal, you start, at, you start working towards another one. The thing is, how did it affect your person? Let's say, for instance, you want to attain a goal. It is the kind of person you become after you attain that goal. Or that, uh, that journey, the journey, how that kind of person you transform into that is the main thing there. Not you. For instance, you want to attain a goal of, okay, I want to read how many books. Do you know that you have made yourself a reader in, a, in reading that, in attaining that goal? That is, the, that is it. So sincerely, I do not know why a lot of people, they put themselves on unnecessary pressure. It is not a must to travel. The roads are not even safe. It is not a must you travel. It is not a must that you travel. It is not enough that you go. I mean, it is not a must that you go and you pepper people. People in the village will start seeing you. Or people anywhere. Anywhere you want to travel to. They will start seeing you as someone who is a demigod. When... You are actually squatting back in where you are, you are struggling now. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. 
Look, you people keep telling hey, my mates are this. Please, let me know. Let me tell you, your mates are also in the cemetery, if you do not know. You have many people who are younger than you, who are the same age as you, that are in your hospital. Some are in coma for years. Some when they come out, they'll be, they'll be grateful for having, they can breathe without the aid of an oxygen. So be grateful for even seeing the light. There are people who just want to see what did they wish for Christmas. They want to see. There are people who want to hear. They want to hear this wind they feel on their skin. They want to hear their loved one's voice. At the end of the day, we'll see that some of the things, none of this matter. Sincerely, don't get yourself worked up for any reason. While I'm saying this, because this particular, this particular incident might be the hand of ritualists. This is their period. Why I'm not underestimating the fact that it can also be the act of an, uh, bandits. But bandits do not remove head from. They kill people. They don't use people's human beings for anything. I mean, people's parts for anything. Please. And so as not to become a victim, because I'm talking about the perpetrators, and I'm also talking about being the victim. Don't be too desperate. Don't be desperate. Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. You do not have this time around. You don't have money for clothes. You don't have money to, let's say for instance, you are, you are a lady. You don't have money to make your hair and all that. Please let me tell you, if it, is, if it is weaving you can do, please do your weaving and carry it with style. Carry it with pride. Walk with your head high. Yes. That is it. You're a guy, at least you have money, you bob your hair. The one, the clothes you feel you have that is faded, that is washed, please iron it and wear it. Nobody will come and put, they don't, they don't arrest people for wearing old clothes. I keep saying for every condition you are in, sincerely, there are people who are thou, thousands of people who are praying to God. God, I want to be like this person. You do not know. That is it. You are living in a face my slap you compound. And you're praying to God, ah, my father, I want to move to a flat. Somebody who does not have a roof over her head is praying to God. God, I want to even see, even his face might slap you. Somebody that sleeps under the bridge. You are someone who lives in a face might slap you. Ah, God, I want to move to a flat. Somebody living in a flat is praying to God. God, I want to be a landlord. That is how the word is. Everybody is not, everybody is not, everybody wants to move. But the main thing is to be contented. Don't allow your desperation land in trouble. That time, you will remember that it is better to be hungry than to have everything and yet you are not happy. You finish or you got caught in the act. What do you see? Please, let us be contented with what we have while still working for better days. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you. For tuning in to listen until I call me away next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.